You know, uh, I've talked about it before. It's a nice record, you know, an assist record. Uh, just in um, kind of the category itself, it shows kind of an unselfishness, but also it shows, um, you know, the teammates I've played with, you know. Just talking about it before this interview, we were talking about some of the easy assists I got, you know, like uh, talking about Drew Gordon would catch him at the rim and, and Tony would catch him off the three line and, um, you know, and uh, – I said, now Bear Styles giving me the easiest ones because I just throw it into him and he just fades away and, and makes that every time. So, you know, it made, it made the game easy, easier for me and hopefully I made the game easier for them. So uh, it's a really nice record to have. Really accomplished team night comes up and you know get the victory quick. Yeah, I mean, uh, I thought about it a lot. You know, I thought about it a lot last week and uh, probably even the week before then because, uh, you know, I, I, I started there. I started there you know, for a long time. So um, just having so much appreciation for the fans and just for the core and the atmosphere, you know, you don't get that a lot of places at the next level. You know, there's a lot to look forward to at the next level, but in terms of just the atmosphere and the environment, you don't see that a lot because um, it's just a unique place with uh, the college environment, but an NBA type of, uh, type of arena. So uh, just leaving that and not being able to play there and win, win all the games we have there on a consistent basis will be, uh, will be a change in life. Numbers-wise, you'll go down as one of the top ten, you know, logos all time in like, <clears> a lot of different categories. What what do you want to be remembered as as a logo when Logo Camp comes out to Kendall Williams? Um, you know, on the court, just a winner. You know, competitive, always trying to win the game. Um, whether or not that came out um, the right way all the time, even with my teammates or with my coaches, um, just that competitive nature I always brought, I think, was a positive. Uh, um, but, but off the court, you know, just a, a normal guy that, you know, you can kick it with or talk to. And um, uh, hopefully I've built good enough relationships through these four years that I can take beyond this, you know, because I think that's what college is about. So I tried to enjoy the college experience as well as, you know, doing what, what's needed on the court. So um, that's what I'm going to miss the most, being a, a real student, quote-unquote student athlete, but, uh, you know, human being athlete. Man, you know, it's just a, um, it's a, I don't like the word anymore because it's overused. It's a nice swag, you know, it's a nice confidence we have. Um, just knowing, especially even on the road, that uh, we were down double digits in the second half. And uh, we knew if we just got these stops and, um, and, and did the things that we're accustomed to doing to winning, that we'll be okay because we have, we've had that formula in place. And I think this team is special because not only do we recognize that formula, but we also – evolve with games and so sometimes you have to step outside the formula but at the end of the day you have that foundation of we got to clamp in this is a important time in the game and then if we hit it for this stretch then we'll be good and I think um, the Utah State game was 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 really big for us and, and having a team win and then uh, this last game because you know a lot of people were probably stressing at home but uh, in our huddle we felt like uh, if we just get two stops, you know, we're down 12 points, we get two stops, and that could be a six, seven point game right there, and then it's ours. So I think that's just a maturity that this team that this team provides. What about Rimmer with CP? T talk about, you know, what he's meant to you and, and your relationship. You said that, you know, he's kind of been a sounding board for you. He's, he's been there when you need to vent, and you're the one who just really needs to shut up and just, you know, kind of listen or, you know, talk with you. Talk about your relationship with him. You know, we built a, gr a really good relationship. We're both from California, um, same area, so. Um, you know, it's well documented that I said he's one of the better defenders that's defended me in high school. And then uh, coming here, we still didn't know too much about each other, you know. Um, so so that relationship growing over the years and to where it is now that we are roommates on the road and um, um, uh, roommates at, at Lobo Village where we live. So uh, just having that relationship and having a, a stability that um, does, doesn't play, you know. He, he – has a great knowledge for the game and a great passion for the game equal to mine and equal to these other guys that have played with me. But um, he has that, that coaching mindset and uh, that um, kind of um, second second point of view. So it's really helpful, um, not only in basketball, but just to, you know, he realizes when it's time to not talk basketball after a loss. We don't talk basketball. We'll, you know, vent for a little bit and then we'll talk about something else because um, there's more to it than just that. The, the mental, he realizes the mental aspect's just as important um, as uh, – as uh, the actual play on the on the court. How would you describe being a senior leader? What you've done this year and also what you've learned since that season? 
being a senior leader is just using your experiences to to help other guys, others, and uh, and when people are in tough situations, you just use the experiences that you've had and the emotions that you felt during those times to kind of relay to the entire team what's going on and how we need to move forward from there. You know, because uh, I've been in a lot of those situations and I've been under the ball sometimes where I'm like, okay, so much pressure right here. I did the wrong thing here. And, uh, um, you know, I think I feel like I'm failing the team. I'm failing myself. And and sometimes you just need a, a person on the court who's been there, done that, and, and has a, a calming presence. You know, I'm an emotional guy. I'm always intense. So um, sometimes my calming presence comes a little in a little different, different way. But at the end of the day, I try to express my experiences so – the majority of these guys understand that it's all good. You know, you make a mistake. Uh, sometimes things look like there's no escaping them, but you know, you just work through them. You you rely on your teammates and you believe in yourself, and everything will be good from there. Anything else? Real quick on, on Air Force, what are you expecting from them? On what? On a um, lot of backdoor cuts. So keep our hands low. I got one more for you. This, this year, you, you seem to be playing so much more on the ball. <clears throat> All of your averages are up. You're scoring better, more assists, the whole thing across the board. And yet, like this last game, double double, no turnovers. Where has the the maturation come from to where now, you know, you're the floor leader, and yet you, you, it seems like your goal every night out is, is to play a game without a turnover. And you, you pulled it off so many times this year. Well, yeah, you know, um, I'm I'm glad that you say it, it looks like it's a goal because you know, no turnovers. Um, is, is not really a goal because I try to always be aggressive. I try to have the balance of scoring and assisting. So that's just um, probably a, um, a reflection of the mindset I've had this year of I need to get everyone involved, but also having that confidence of when, when there is a time that, um, where even Cam isn't necessarily carrying that load, which is the majority of the time, that I need to be aggressive and getting the ball in the hoop. But um, just knowing we have so much talent and, so, and confidence in myself to have that balance, whereas you know I don't need to turn the ball over because – the right situations in front of me all the time. So it's just up to me to capitalize on it.